Hey guys, welcome back to episode 33 of Plants vs. Zombies. Today what we're going to be doing is just a few little things I didn't talk about or show so far in the game. And then um, that will be probably it for t this game in general. Um, I don't really know what else to really talk about. Well, except for just taking care of some random stuff, you know? <laughs> like, Zen Garden, I didn't really show any of my Zen Garden stuff, so... Right now, I don't know what I really want to do. Besides actually showing this stuff. Let's see. So we're going to speed through this a little bit more because I don't feel like, you know, because this Zen Garden stuff does take a while to actually complete. So I'm just waiting for it to hurry up. Come on. So yeah, today, that's what we're going to be doing today. And then um, we're just going to finish up uh, Plants vs. Zombies today. And then that'll be it. So it's going to be, you know, I can't believe this project is already over. It's so quick. It was so quick. Um, let's see, everything else is Mario Party 9 should, should be over probably next week, I'm thinking. Probably, I don't know. Depends on, well, I, th I think it's probably going to be done about this week, because I still got to do the mini games, and I still got to do, you know, all that other extra stuff, the DK and the boss rush and all that other, you know, all those other things. So, all of that's got to get done. And then, um, I'm going to sell off one of my miracles and get rid of that. And, uh, now I'm going to go buy some of this plant fertilizer. This is for the Tree of Wisdom. I haven't actually shown that yet. So, that's one of the things I will be looking at. First, in order to find it, you got to go visit other garden. And then you'll notice this little sapling right here. This is the Tree of Wisdom. And it basically gives you a bunch of stuff. Information, you know. It gives you a bunch of codes. And it also gives you a couple of other things, too. Choppers and walnuts work exceedingly well together. It's no surprise because they were roommates at college. It usually happens for about the first 50, I would say, if you listen to two columns of sunflowers, I'm dead serious, okay? Snorkels, obviously, hate them. How do you deal with them? Walnuts on lily pads. So basically, it will keep giving you information, typing future while experience zombies from future, okay? Um, basically, what it does is just gives you a bunch of information until you grow into about 50 feet, and then um, it will rarely give you stuff, you know, I'm going to probably show it when it gets all the way up to 100, because I know that it gives you something extra for 100, so, uh, that would be probably that part, but I probably won't have enough money, I have to, I need about, like, 250,000, <laughs> 250,000 coins just to get to 100 feet, and then, so, you know, it basically says the same message over and over and over until you until you grow it high enough. I've seen people who've grown it about a thousand feet or so, and um, there's not really that much more, I would say, you know, information. So I'm just going to show you exactly how it works. All you have to do is just pay the 2500 to grab one bag of fertilizer for this tree. Have you ever heard exclusive Yeti Zombie so he likes the pitch black? That has something to do with the 410. <clears throat> What's cheaper than free? Nothing. That's why puff streams are essential on all night levels. Yeah. Some of the information is not that useful. It basically just gives you information that you... Some of the information, though, I have to say is kind of interesting. Have you noticed that Garnsum use other zombies to batch other plants? Yeah, we've seen that one before. We used other... He's used other things besides, like, poles and other and those kind of things. Stinky is stale. She loves his chocolate. Okay. If you think your place survival it only drops pool side plants for you, I think again it drops everything. Yeah, we actually seen that before actually, because when I was playing it, I actually got like the ice shroom and the regular uh, scaredy shroom and some other shroom too. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but it was something of it was something of the night. So that's probably. I've heard that bucket hits always take five times as many hits as the regular ones. See, I'm just gonna go through this, and I'm just gonna. T I hear that typing mustache brings about terrifying transformation. And we'll actually show that. Okay, so basically, that's what all this is gonna be. It's gonna take some time to actually do this, though. Let's see. So yeah, um, as far as the next project is concerned, I guess I'll start talking about that. Um, I don't really know what I want to do for the next project. Probably gonna be a, it's probably gonna be a short one because I actually next week I think probably we won't have there's probably some there's something that I have to actually do next week so 
I'm gonna try to do a short game, I would say. Probably something that doesn't take me more than, you know, five days to do, because to, this episode is on, you know, Tuesday, for Tuesday, and then, so, Wednesday is gonna be the intro, Thursday, we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, well, actually, we don't have Sunday, because, well, Sunday doesn't, let's see, make money fast by playing Survival Endless, yeah, that's what I said last time, okay. You think Torchwoods would douse snow peas, and you'd be correct because your friends are smart. Yes, yes, yes. We all knew that. Fire and water are opposites. Those hateful Zumpotni, who do you think are shooting at plants? The good thing, walnuts stop them cold. Okay. The Pogo party and zombie are the most really, really difficult. Want to drop one of the reallys off that description? Use the squash. Whatever. Just when you thought jalapenos could be any more useful, you let you know that they destroyed some bonies ice trails. Okay, so now we're running out of things again. Ah, uh, see, it's just this never-ending battle of just buying stuff, <laughs> buying food for this plant. Once you buy the inventory, try clicking the little drawing in the upper left corner of your almanac to access the entry to on that sucker. Yeah, 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 whatever. The number of coins you receive in Walnut Bowling is proportional to how cool you are measured by... We all knew that. See, this is the thing about this tree, you know, so, sometimes when you read it, it's just basically the same exact stuff you've already seen before, so... It's nothing new or interesting or whatever, you know, some of it is just whatever. See if you break the vases on the right side first. Yeah, that makes sense though. Okay. Dancers and eyes obviously seem expensive, but in the right situation they're worth every penny. Yes, they can be. And then I had a dream in cattails, spikes drop pop balloons and drop zombies to the ground. I don't know what that means. Yeah, we actually seen that before. Growing aquatic plants is it's pretty much impossible at aquarium, yeah. Jigger zombies violate the or natural order with their subterranean. It's only fair to use magnet. I don't know if I really agree with that. Because what happens is, you know, if you take, if the magnet shroom takes its, you know, pick, then basically what happens is it just kind of goes back above ground and then it has to go forward. So it actually can kill your garden. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I have to say. I don't know if I'm... I think it's going to be a short game, though. I don't think... It's something that I can beat really quickly, you know. Tired, depressed ladders on it. Going to a quick magnet shroom, yeah. Tallness of tall nuts, earth's wise man, due to effectiveness versus dolphin riders and pogo zombies. The explosive force of a cherry bomb or jalapeno is more okay than capable of dislodging a ladder. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's tempting to feed all your chocolate to stinkies. He's such a chocolate. Remember, Zen plants like it too. Okay. Torchwood has hot fires hotter than rage, but Zamboni's screen doors, ladders, and catapults can take the heat. Yeah. I know. If you rely on upgrade plants, be accurately. Yeah, they're more expensive. Yes, we all know that. I mentioned that already. The imps seem weak, but they're speedy and great for fetching that last brain when you clear the rest of the opposition. If you type tricked out, don't be surprised if you see something wacky happen to your lawnmowers. Now we're at 50 feet. Thank you for feeding me, I'm all out. Oh yeah, so here we're at 50. Now they won't have anything until 100, and I think the next one after that might be just 200, so I'm just gonna speed through this a little bit. Basically says the same old thing over and over and over. And, um, let's see, what else am I just... Yeah, so that's pretty much what's going to happen. I think we're pretty much done with it. I'll stop here for a second. Okay. There's something I wanted to show, the almanac. This is all where you can see the cost, the recharge, the speeds, the zombies. Of course, here's the Yeti zombie. Oh yeah, it has that same description as what my comments had. And uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back here. Yeah. Buying up all this coins. I had to get some more coins because I didn't start running out. So, up, up, up. Yeah. See, this is this is just tedious. I just feel like I don't have the ability. To, <laughs> it's just going so fast because I want to just get through this so quickly because I I just do not want to take so much time just trying to get it all the way up to a hundred. They do have something special at a hundred. I don't know when the next one is. It might be at two hundred. 
but it might be at 500. I'm not sure. You know, or 250. I don't. I don't really want to know, and I don't really want to stay that long to actually try to get that high because it's too much. Like, as you can see, I just don't want to do all of this. And I think we're gonna stop very soon because when we get closer to 100, stop right there. Okay, 99 and 100 now. Hey, I'm 100 feet tall, celebrating me by typing daisies to get the zombies to leave the tiny daisies behind when they die. See, all of that work for just one little tiny, I mean, one little tiny thing. Yeah, that's great. I wonder if there's anything at, I don't think there's anything at 101. No. So yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna be, that, that's pretty much it. I don't really have that much more to say. I, oh, there is something I do want to show, actually. When I get out of this, I'm gonna show the those codes and show you exactly what happens. Let's see that we just saw. I don't think I can't afford anything else, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hold on. Okay, back over here. We're gonna just do something simple like walnut bowling. New game. Okay, so if you type future, you get that. If you type, if you type the, I'm sorry, you typed, uh, tricked out, and you type mustache, changes those things over there, and um, I put in daisies as well. Daisies, what they do is just leave a bunch of daisies behind when you beat a zombie. So yeah, it's just not, it's a little tiny like Easter egg or something like that, you know. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, next time we'll probably do something new. I don't know exactly quite yet. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to really say. It's just a really short video. So hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. See you guys next time. We'll have the title screen for the next game soon. See you guys later. Take care. Bye.